Joining us to debate whose good economy this is, we've got Judge Ken Del Vecchio, attorney and GOP strategist, and Spencer Critchley, Democratic strategist and managing partner, Boots Road Group, also communication advisor for Obama for America back in 08 and 12. Guys, thanks so much for coming on. Spencer, I want to start with you. I'm going to give you a first crack at this here. You worked on the Obama campaign. Uh, who would you say is responsible now for this robust economy? This is an 11 year recovery that absolutely started under President Obama. Now we have to grant that it continues to be strong, although it is slower under President Trump. Uh, President Trump is really good at two things. One of them is branding, uh, branding himself as a self made mogul when the reality is very, very different based on his record going back decades. The other one is inheriting and squandering wealth because the economic growth has been slowing down. Most of the promise, promises the president has made about manufacturing and what's happening to farmers, the effect of tariffs, have not panned out. And meanwhile, he's added a trillion dollars of debt during a time of strong economic growth, which is a kind of upside down Keynesianism. Uh, president Obama did the stimulus program for less than a trillion dollars and saved the American and world economy. We're still reaping the benefits. Now, that's not to say that the economy still isn't strong. Of course it is. And presidents take credit for economies when they're strong, and sometimes they take undeserved blame when the economy weakens. Uh, they don't have as much influence as we like to think they do. But President Obama, as is often the case, has the facts on his side, and President uh, Trump has assertions and his skill at branding. All right, let me real quick, let me bring in uh, Ken, your thoughts on what you just heard here from Spencer on the economy. Look at me, look at me. I'm a far left liberal and I'll say anything I can to hurt Donald Trump no matter how false it is. Now I'm not talking Gosh, to Spencer. I'm not like talking to you personally. Right here. I'm not talking uh, to you personally. I'll get Spencer real, or, real quick. I'll give you a I'm can talking of to the fake news media, the far left ultra Hollywood boneheads, the so-called academic elites. President a Obama's economic stimulus package can be summed up in one phrase, massive redistribution of wealth scheme. President Trump is responsible for the booming economy right now. President Trump is the one who's instituted great deregulation. That means jobs staying in America and not going overseas. That equates to stimulating the economy. That also equates to businesses, big businesses, small businesses, medium-sized businesses, having more money in their pockets. The highest economic recovery due to how about the lowest uh, job job rates, right? Mm -hmm. We have the low, I'm sorry, the lowest unemployment rates for Hispanics, for blacks, for Caucasians, for everybody. Just like you say, Spencer, that presidents want to pass the buck when it's a bad economy, when it's a good economy, former presidents want to take credit for it. Just give Donald Trump credit where it's due. All right, let me just, I want to play this for you to get to the next point. Joe Biden, vice president under Obama, now also claiming credit um, here for the economy. Listen to the speech he gave. This was in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Right now, under, under the Republican and the Trump plan, we only reward wealth. You know, we, Donald Trump inherited a strong economy from Barack and me. Things were beginning to really move. And just like everything else he's inherited, he's in the midst of squandering it. Spencer, do you agree with uh, Vice President, former Vice President Joe Biden there? Boy, I sure do. I'm, I'm surprised he uses exactly the same phrase that I just used. Um, yeah, you know, Unfortunately, what we just heard was all too common coming from President Trump and his supporters, a series of assertions that are not backed up by facts and a series of branding exercises like fake news, for example, which frankly I think is, is a destructive phrase. We shouldn't be attacking the free press like that in a democracy. The, the, what's called the fake news is actually the real news, folks. Um, you know, President uh, Obama and Vice President Biden's Recovery Act was one of the most successful waste-free and fraud-free government programs in history. And, and Vice President Biden deserves some credit. He managed that effort. And that effort has paid for itself many times over, whereas President Trump has just created a ton of new debt, stimulating the economy during a time of growth, which is not what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to create debt, debt like that during a time of growth. President, Conservatives President used to be Obama, against that President sort of thing. President Obama, Furthermore, albeit six a very intelligent 10, man. Six out of President 10, Obama, six albeit out of a very I'll let, Spencer, I'll let you finish six out of statement. 10, Six out of 10, according to Axios today, six out of 10 previous presidents had stronger GDP growth than President Trump. 
Uh, Obama had better right. figures in many areas. This claim that it's the best ever is simply false, as is so often the case with right, President Spencer, Trump. Let me get but Ken he's really good at making in, these in assertions. Ken, your rebuttal. Let's look at what we can measure. Nobody knows what GDP means. That's an economic term that's thrown around by economists. You understand it, I understand it, he understands it, and a small percentage of people understand it. Let's look at what people really understand. There is money in people's pockets now like there hasn't been in the past five, six, seven years. There are more jobs for people that are available. There are people who are able to buy houses that weren't able to buy houses. President Obama had eight years. And in those eight years, <clears throat> with reference to the economy, he did very little because he had a massive redistribution of wealth scheme. And this gentleman talks about that Joe Biden said the same thing I said. That's because he's talking a Democrat talking point. This is all reality. You want to say you can't attack the fake news because mm -hmm. of the First Amendment? Because of the First Amendment, we can attack the fake news. And we can say that they're liars and fabricators and frauds. So. I respectfully disagree with Spencer. Look, we've got to go. I, I appreciate both of you coming on here. We are going to continue this in the second hour here, uh, so we appreciate your time. That is uh, Judge Ken Delvecchio. He's attorney and GOP strategist. Also, uh, Spencer Critchley, Democratic strategist there and also communication advisor for Obama for America 08 and 12. Guys, uh, thanks for being good sports. We appreciate you coming on.